invited directly by it from Scotland to right down in the south and including London and across the shires. So uh, it's an extremely bleak day. I think it's Blue Monday. It's certainly Blue Monday for those Carillion workers that are GMB members. Now, if, as the Tom Pumpkin was saying, the projects are going to continue, is there any guarantee that there's going to be a pay packet at the end of this? I don't think there is, Adam. I think that's part of the crucial question. First of all, what the GMB is saying is we're demanding that Theresa May assures us that all of these uh, public sector contracts are taken in back in-house where they should have been in the first place. These are crucial services. These are crucial jobs. We're talking about prisons. We're talking about schools. We're talking about the NHS, uh, exactly as your report has just uh, detailed. But then we look at the private sector uh, part of the company, and that shouldn't be for taxpayers to bail the private sector part of Carillion out. That shouldn't be for the shareholders who have reaped big profits on the back of these contracts being awarded. I mean, what do you, what do you blame for this company going bust? I think, first of all, the government totally having its finger off the pulse. I've seen the government's press release this morning that says uh, the government was watching this very closely. Well, it can't have been. This company secured profit warnings back in July, despite which they have been awarded further and further and more and more contracts. So rather than government watching it closely, they've been sleeping at the wheel. I mean, there is a, a view that basically this is, a, this is a product to a certain extent of austerity, that Carillion to get the jobs basically underbid uh, to a non-economic level uh, doing the, to do the work. Well, isn't that a sign of the times? Uh, first of all, private sector companies have no role to play in public sector contracts. They never have. The contracts for private sectors are all about profit. What we see in public sector, with public sector in-house contracts, is about services. It's about servants, it's about public servants, GMB members, school meals women, cleaners, people who keep their hospitals clean. They're the ones who should be properly rewarded with a contract of employment, not hived off to the lowest bidder, this race to the bottom, then they can make profits on the back of abusing work. But, I mean, 